And that's what I did. So. Why would I, I'm reading text message you sent it to me? You it said I don't f with Supreme. Yeah, he, he a rat. <clears throat> yes, he worked for the FBI. FBI. <laughs> that's why he bringing them cameras to y'all hood. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, why would that nigga do that? Man? And who man, that with so the, that with the Hispanics? Yeah, this was the other day, man. It's recent. So, so basically. Did that put you in any kind of so uh, altercation? Because if you call somebody a rat nigga, there you go. And these guys ain't playing over there where we was at. E. They serious business about their business. Man. So. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I think about the different interviews, but it, Rainwater been on here a few times. He one of the managers out here in Dallas. Um, you know, um, you and him, y'all have y'all ever really worked together at any point? Um... How I even know uh, that dude, uh, he used to call my phone and try to pick my brain, like at least, if not three times a month, at least two times a month, he would call me from Yayo to J-O to Kenny B. He, I, I talked to this dude a lot of occasions. Um, and so working together, like me me giving him pointers on a few little things, um, that's about it, but like working together, never. Mm -mm. So, but you, you, because so you could, would you say you, you kind of influenced his, his career? Uh, I made managing cool out here in the deal. So basically, period. before you was doing it, it, it wasn't cool. Uh, I mean, I don't know what was going on. I just know I came around and and, and, and I did what why I did. Why was he calling you? I mean, shit. Because you was the link I to mean, the people. Hey, I, I don't, I don't know why he was calling me. He didn't want nothing. He was wanted to pick my brain. That's all it was. Okay. All right. So when you this true story, this Rain was smart though. He's smart when it comes to stuff like like business. He trying to figure it out yeah. because he he, 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 he he going to figure it out. Yeah, that's the way he do it. So when you think about you know you and him, uh, it was it, it was some text messages sent. Oh, this recent. This like recent. less than a week ago. Oh yeah, yeah, what? yeah. What? Yeah. Explain to me what happened. All on right. That. So right now I'm working on a monumental project with my guy Hollywood. It's a uh, documentary on the 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 Latino culture in Fort Worth, and it's huge. So somehow he saw us in a neighborhood in Fort Worth um, on the north side, you know, doing what we do. And he dm the guy. Uh, he was like, I don't fool with Supreme. Which that, How did that, he that, find out you was dealing with the guy? Man, I don't know what this dude got going on, man. I don't know he, if he watching me. They all watch my page from fake pages. This is what they do. So he said he didn't deal with you. He said, I don't fool with Supreme. And, and the dude was like, oh, for real? He was like, yeah, he's a, he's a rat. And he's, oh, a, uh, and he's an FBI informant. An FBI agent or some shit, he said, man. Call, text and, message. And you got the text message. Yeah, you got them. Give me those texts. Yeah, yeah. Check get them to me. I, I looked at it. I didn't see it a while ago. Send, make sure I get them, though. Because I'm going to put them up on the screen. Yeah, because yeah. Because I, I want, I, I mean, it, it, because you, have you ever snitched on somebody? Man, I've never been to prison before at all. Damn sure I ain't never told on nobody. Well, you know, why? what would make him say that? Because you and him, was y'all was, y'all talked before. Nah, we, we wouldn't. We have y'all ever been friends? Why would y'all talk on the to, phone? For, for us to even have a, a conversation on the line, we were, um, friends is a strong word for a guy like that. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. But uh, I'm not a... Like at the time, he wasn't how he how he is now. Check your phone too. He wasn't like that. So when he calling my phone, it's yeah, it's, a, it's an admiration to it. You dig what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. And I'm not gonna turn him down. Just you feel me? I'm gonna give him the game. That's what I do, and that's what I did. So. Why would I, I'm reading text message you sent it to me? You it said I don't f with Supreme. He, yeah. He a rat. <clears throat> yes, he worked for the FBI. <laughs> Yeah, that's why he bringing them cameras to y'all hood. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Say, why would that nigga do that? Man? And who, man, that, with the, so that with the Hispanics? Yeah, this was the other day, man. It's recent. So, so basically, did that put you in any kind of so uh, altercation? Because if you call somebody a rat nigga, there you hood, go. And these guys ain't playing over there where we was at. E. They serious business about their business. Man, so. you make me think of training day when they dropped that white boy off, <laughs> that's man. Where yeah. we was, we, <laughs> yeah, we be, that's where we be at. That's where we be at. So then the, on the flip side, if we're being funny, just think about the safety. No, that's that real. That's that real. You dig that, what I'm saying? Were you guys able to? Uh, were you okay. guys able to? Uh, uh, um, how did y'all? How did y'all figure it out so that it didn't become something that could have escalated? What you mean? How could we figure? How did y'all figure it out? Because those guys could have took that literally, and it could have been a bad situation. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so I'm saying, how did y'all figure out how to defuse it? I mean. When you when you when you dealing with the type you of people that I deal with, it's like they they know the real and the fake. So 
when the dude sent it to me, he he, he already knew that I ain't on that. I ain't on no like FBI. You see, Rain don't know me. You dig what I'm saying? He know this entertainment stuff because I'm the opposite of what he talking about. So it was funny, but it ain't funny. Yeah, I and then it ain't funny because he's representing Dallas and the DFW in Texas and to some extent, and he make us look like real peons when you do this. And he do other kind of shit that's weird as hell, but that was just like really dry and weird to try to stop something I'm doing. I'm not even messing with our people right now. I'm messing with our people, but I'm not messing with our people. You dig what I'm saying? I'm doing a whole documentary on a Latino culture in a city where you can't even come to, man. Why are you and these people DM telling them how you feel about me? Like it's going to matter. And then you, then you talking about some police shit. Like, come on, man. That's just like he need a muzzle, bro. Because he, he said that shit is poison. Do you think it's because you and him both had dealings? Well, Mo three had dealings with K Breezy, and then, then you managed K Breezy. Do you think that caused y'all to have some it's, friction? It's, it's, it's all of that. He Rain think that he is. Uh, well, I don't know what he think he is, but I know who I am. So there's gonna be a good versus evil. You dig what I'm saying? Well, who is the good and who's the I'm the good. <laughs> yeah, come on now. That's, You're that's easy. So, yeah, so, and I'm just messing with you, but I really am serious about the fact of this because he spoke a little bit on K Breezy. Were you managing Mo3 at the time? I was Mo3 only manager. Okay, so you did you call K Breezy? Or how, did you play part in that? Uh, three called me and showed me K Breezy uh, a video of her on Twitter. Okay. And, you know, uh, yeah, we had called K Breezy. What did you think about her? I like K Breezy. And then when the shit that happened in Fort Worth, uh, they, she neglected Mo3. Oh, what that really? She never talked to Kyle Mo three ever again for two years, and then she did the, the six pick song with Freddie and the girls in the video, and then she took a picture with uh with Freddie and said my favorite trap trapper, and uh three was like man he, that kind of I mean that kind of that kind of hurt three. So that was around the, yeah, that was yeah, around the same time yeah. that everything yeah, was going down. Yeah, then she then she put made a post on another post on Facebook that three was aware about, and you know he was like. It kind of hurt him. So then she just came out the blue at the Dun Dun the Seven. Was like, where my chain at? You know, she went off on me and Sean Cotton. Really? In three. You know. Wow. So could y'all ever work together again? It's done. Couldn't work with her no more. Yeah, I already see somebody that they, uh, yeah, you could tell. And her, you know, being she around. She wasn't even around. But that she <laughs> wasn't, you know, when she started doing certain things, that's why they kind of backed off of her. And they didn't back off. She left because of him. He just ain't. Okay, he, break they, that down. You got a lot of people that come on these things in front of these mics and put these earphones on and they just lie, E. They get up here and tell lies, man. We're going to get to the other liar in a minute. But that was a blatant lie. She was there because of Mo3. She left because of rain and the situations that they were getting put in. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. That's the real truth. So Rain was, you th you felt like he was influenced things. Nobody is around Rain because of Rain. Even Dun Dun and Seven, Pink Pressure was there because of Mo3. They not, nobody is around that shit because of Rainwater. He is nobody to nothing. He's just in a position like other guys has been out here, and they are stuck in those positions. There's ha there hasn't been any growth. So when y'all pop out with Boss Talk 101, he got all this other stuff popping out. Y'all come across a Supreme, a Rainwater, a Say Cheese, a Half Pain, and y'all, oh, yeah. But I'm knowing the breakdown of all of this shit, and there has been no growth. It's just people that were thrust into positions. You dig what I'm saying? And we, and some of us still, I mean, all, well, pretty much all of us are still who we are, but if those jokers would have grew, the whole shit would be bigger. It wouldn't be like this. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? What? He has a platinum artist that's passed away now. He ain't got shit. Uh, well, he, he was managing him. Uh, yeah, all right. And this here caused him to be in that whole algorithm to where he ends up on the billboard. That's awards. the first he time ends, I heard that. That's yeah, the, that's he the proper up, way to put yeah, it. Yeah, he ends up in the algorithm. <laughs> I'm saying? Cause he, he really like, right. Now, nah, they go to doing interviews when his, when his artist dies. Like, that shit is cool or something. Like, now he know what to say or he the guy to go to for advice. Mm -hmm. He ain't none of that. He going to poison the whole shit. You so, but he ends up on the on the on the Billboard Awards. He ends up on the Grammy Awards. <laughs> uh, he's representing uh, really to me the Dallas area because he's he ends up on these bigger you know platforms because of what Mo three done. Uh, did you, you you seen all of this happening in real time or you didn't nah, know? Not at all. Yeah, he you, ends up you on there. You just told me something that he I, I don't know He ends up on there because of his artists and nominations and all that good yep. stuff. So there are some things that went on with him that are really you know. Positive toward a brand. What is he doing with it though? I, 
I don't what know. artist that you had come up pretty he signed? Where he at? I'm pretty Since sure he's trying to get three, the hell away from him. Uh, it was Baby C. Baby C came on here. He one of the young dogs. He signed a girl, too. Uh, right. That's the girl he talked about. Oh, Pink Pressure. She gone. No, 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 no. It was just recently. He did another girl. Yeah, she black. I mean, I didn't say black, but I don't know if she was, he signed him or not. But I like Baby C a lot. <clears throat> that, that I, I do like him. He's very respectful. He's from North Carolina, though. And he did because come he up. He don't know. Him. He don't know. He don't know. Nah, he don't know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.